Singapore is one of the most marvelous cities in the world. It has everything from natural beauty to man-made wonders. It is a cultural hub and people from all nationalities and backgrounds happily coexist on this tiny island nation. It is extremely modern in its architecture but is very traditional in its culture. There is no shortage of attractions in Singapore, and there is literally more than you can see. On this four-day trip, I visited some of the most impressive tourist attractions in Singapore. Let's check out these places with me. Please be sure to stay until the end because I'll also show you some footage of a world-class business lounge at Changi Airport. Jewel Changi Airport is a stunning and innovative lifestyle and retail complex situated in the heart of Changi Airport. It is not just an airport terminal but a destination in itself, offering a wide range of attractions, entertainment, shopping, dining, and leisure experiences. It's easily accessible from all terminals, making it a convenient stop for travelers and a popular destination for both locals and tourists. There are also public transportation options for visitors coming from outside the airport. The architectural design of Jewel Changi Airport is a standout feature. It features a glass and steel facade and a distinctive donut-shaped structure with a large, lush indoor garden at its core. The centerpiece of Jewel is the Rain Vortex, the world's tallest indoor waterfall, which is surrounded by lush landscaping. The Rain Vortex is the main attraction and a mesmerizing sight. It stands at a height of 40 meters and features a nightly light and sound show where the waterfall is illuminated with a captivating display of colors. The Rain Vortex comes to life at night with a spectacular light and sound show. It's a captivating experience that takes place at hourly intervals in the evening. A collaboration of Shiseido and Art Collective Team Lab, the Shiseido Forest Valley is one of Asia's largest indoor gardens. Spanning five stories and approximately 22,000 square meters located in the heart of Jewel Chengi Airport. It houses around 3,000 trees and 60,000 shrubs of 120 species that live in high-altitude tropical forests from around the world. Jewel Chengi Airport is a shopping haven with over 280 retail and dining outlets. You can find a wide range of international and local brands, luxury boutiques, electronics stores, and specialty shops. Popular shopping options include fashion, jewelry, cosmetics, and more. The complex offers a diverse culinary experience with over 110 dining options. Visitors can enjoy cuisine from various regions, including Asian, Western, and local Singaporean dishes. Universal Studios Singapore is a world-renowned theme park located on Sentosa Island, Singapore. It is one of the major attractions within the resort's World Sentosa Integrated Resort Complex. Universal Studios Singapore brings the magic of Hollywood and the popular Universal Pictures film franchises to Southeast Asia, offering visitors a wide range of rides, shows, and attractions. Universal Studios Singapore is divided into several theme zones, each offering a unique experience. Hollywood The entrance zone features the iconic Hollywood Walk of Fame and various entertainment options. New York A zone that recreates the atmosphere of New York City with classic landmarks, including the Statue of Liberty. Sci-Fi City Home to futuristic attractions like Battlestar Galactica and Transformers, the Ride 3D. Ancient Egypt Themed around ancient Egyptian mythology and features attractions like Revenge of the Mummy. The Lost World Inspired by the Jurassic Park franchise, this zone includes attractions like the Jurassic Park Rapids Adventure. Far Far Away Based on the Shrek film series, this zone includes Shrek 4D Adventure and other Shrek-themed attractions. Universal Studios Singapore offers a mix of thrilling rides, 4D shows, interactive experiences, and live entertainment. Notable attractions include the Transformers, the Ride 3D, Battlestar Galactica roller coasters, Revenge of the Mummy indoor roller coaster, and the Sesame Street Spaghetti Space Chase for younger visitors. The park features a variety of live entertainment, including stunt shows, musical performances, and character meet and greets. 
Shows like Waterworld and Lights, Camera, Action are particularly popular. There are numerous dining options throughout the park, ranging from quick-service eateries to themed restaurants. You can enjoy a wide range of cuisine, including Asian, Western, and local dishes. Themed merchandise shops are scattered throughout the park, offering a variety of souvenirs, clothing, toys, and collectibles related to Universal Studios movies and characters. Some attractions have height and age restrictions, so it's important to check these before planning your visit, especially if you have children with you. To make the most of your day at Universal Studios Singapore, consider arriving early, using the park's mobile app for ride wait times and show schedules, and planning your route through the park. Universal Studios Singapore offers an exciting and immersive entertainment experience for visitors of all ages. It's a must-visit destination for movie enthusiasts, thrill-seekers, and families looking for a day of fun and adventure. The Malaysian Food Street in Singapore is not an actual street, but rather a themed dining destination located within a shopping mall. It recreates the vibrant and diverse street food culture of Malaysia, offering a wide variety of delicious Malaysian dishes in a bustling, atmospheric setting. Malaysian Food Street is located in Resorts World Sentosa, and since I'm already in the Sentosa area, I guess why not pay it a visit? It typically operates during regular mall hours, so it's a great option for lunch, dinner, or even a snack while exploring Resorts World Sentosa. The Malaysian Food Street is designed to resemble a traditional Malaysian street market. The decor includes colorful signage, bold fashion shop fronts, and rustic seating arrangements that mimic the experience of dining in a bustling Malaysian hawker center. The main highlight of Malaysian Food Street is its diverse and authentic Malaysian food offerings. You can find a wide range of Malaysian street food classics from various regions of Malaysia, including Penang, Kuala Lumpur, Ipoh, and more. The Malaysian Food Street aims to provide an affordable dining experience, just like the real street food stalls in Malaysia. Prices are relatively reasonable, making it accessible to a wide range of visitors. The Singapore Zoo also known as the Mandai Zoo or the Singapore Zoological Gardens, is a world-renowned zoological park located in Singapore. It is one of the most popular and well-regarded zoos in the world, known for its commitment to providing a natural and immersive environment for animals and its extensive conservation efforts. Singapore Zoo is situated in a lush rainforest environment in the Mandai area, covering approximately 28 hectares of land. One of the zoo's most significant attractions is its open concept design, which aims to create a more natural and spacious habitat for the animals. Instead of traditional cages, animals are often separated from visitors by natural barriers like moats and glass enclosures, allowing for a more immersive and closer encounter with the animals. The zoo is home to over 2,800 animals representing more than 300 species, including mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians. Some of the zoo's most popular residents include orangutans, tigers, pandas, and elephants. The Singapore Zoo is actively involved in various conservation initiatives, including breeding programs for endangered species, research projects, and education programs to raise awareness about wildlife conservation. The zoo places a strong emphasis on educating the public about animals and their habitats. It offers educational programs, animal encounters, and guided tours to help visitors learn more about the animal kingdom. The Singapore Zoo has received numerous awards and accolades for its innovative design, animal care, and conservation efforts. It consistently ranks among the best zoos in the world. The zoo has several dining options, including restaurants and cafes, as well as gift shops where visitors can purchase souvenirs. The Singapore Zoo offers a unique and enriching experience for visitors of all ages, allowing them to connect with nature and learn about the importance of wildlife conservation while enjoying a day surrounded by animals in a beautiful and natural setting.
Little India is a vibrant and culturally rich neighborhood located in the heart of Singapore. It is one of the city-state's most iconic and historically significant areas, known for its vibrant streets, colorful facades, and a strong sense of Indian culture and heritage. Little India has a rich history that dates back to the early days of Singapore. It was originally established in the 19th century when Indian immigrants, primarily from Tamil Nadu, came to Singapore to seek better economic opportunities. Over the years, it has evolved into a thriving enclave that showcases Indian culture, traditions, and way of life. Little India is a testament to Singapore's multiculturalism and ethnic diversity. It is home to a significant Indian community, and you'll find residents from various Indian states, including Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Punjab, and more. This diversity is reflected in the area's cuisine, traditions, and festivals. Little India is also a shopping paradise. The district is known for its vibrant and bustling streets filled with shops and market stalls. Visitors can explore a wide range of stores selling traditional Indian clothing such as saris and kurta pajamas, jewelry, spices, textiles, handicrafts, and more. Sarangoon Road, the main street in Little India, is lined with numerous shops and stalls. The food scene in Little India is a major attraction. There are numerous restaurants, hawker stalls, and eateries offering authentic Indian cuisine. Popular dishes include biryani, dosa, roti prata, tandoori chicken, and a variety of curries. Don't miss out on trying traditional Indian sweets and snacks as well. Little India is home to several ornate Hindu temples and places of worship. The most prominent temple is the Sri Viramakaliamman Temple, known for its intricate architecture and colorful facade. The Sri Srimavasa Paramal Temple is another significant Hindu temple in the area. In recent years, Little India has become known for its vibrant street art. Murals and graffiti can be found throughout the neighborhood, often depicting scenes from Indian culture, history, and daily life. Mustafa Center, a 24-hour shopping mall, is a landmark in Little India. It's famous for its wide range of products, including electronics, clothing, cosmetics, and groceries. It's a popular destination for both locals and tourists and is open round the clock. Little India in Singapore is a lively and colorful neighborhood that offers a unique cultural experience. It's a place where you can savor delicious Indian food, shop for traditional Indian goods, explore beautiful temples, and immerse yourself in the vibrant culture of India while in the midst of Singapore's urban landscape. The Art Science Museum is an iconic cultural institution located in Marina Bay Sands. It is a distinctive lotus-shaped building that combines art, science, and technology to create a unique and immersive museum experience. The Art Science Museum's architecture is one of its most striking features. Designed by renowned architect Moshe Safdie, the building is often referred to as the welcoming hand of Singapore due to its distinctive shape, which resembles a lotus flower or an outstretched hand. The design incorporates sustainable features, including rainwater harvesting. The museum's mission is to explore the intersection of art, science, culture, and technology. It aims to inspire visitors to think creatively and critically about the world around them by showcasing a wide range of exhibits and installations. The museum hosts a variety of exhibitions that cover a wide spectrum of topics, including art, science, design, and innovation. These exhibitions often feature interactive and multimedia displays, making them engaging and informative for visitors of all ages. The museum has several permanent galleries that explore different aspects of art and science. One of the most notable is the Future World Exhibition, which uses cutting-edge technology to create immersive digital art installations. Other permanent galleries may focus on topics such as space exploration, virtual reality, and more. In addition to its permanent collections, the Art Science Museum regularly hosts temporary exhibitions featuring works by renowned artists, designers, and scientists from around the world. 
These exhibitions often revolve around themes related to technology, innovation, and the environment. The museum also offers a range of educational programs and workshops for visitors of all ages. These programs are designed to promote creativity, critical thinking, and an understanding of the interplay between art and science. The Art Science Museum is a must-visit destination for those interested in the intersection of art, science, and technology. Its innovative exhibitions and distinctive architecture make it a cultural landmark in Singapore, and it provides a unique and enriching experience for visitors seeking to explore the connections between creativity and science. Gardens by the Bay is one of Singapore's most iconic and innovative attractions. Located in the heart of the city, it is a sprawling and futuristic garden complex that showcases the perfect blend of nature, technology, and sustainability. Gardens by the Bay is situated in the Marina Bay area of Singapore, adjacent to the Marina Reservoir and near other major attractions like Marina Bay Sands and the Singapore Flyer. It can be easily accessible by public transportation, including the MRT system, and it is within walking distance of several other attractions in the Marina Bay area. One of the most recognizable features of gardens by the bay is the super tree grove. These towering artificial trees, ranging in height from 25 to 50 meters, are not only stunning to look at but also serve practical purposes. They are equipped with solar panels to harness solar energy and are part of a sustainable cooling system for the conservatories. You can take a stroll along the suspended walkway, known as the OCBC Skyway, to get panoramic views of the gardens and the city skyline. Throughout the year, Gardens by the Bay hosts special floral displays and exhibitions that showcase seasonal flowers and themes. These displays often incorporate creative and artistic elements into the garden landscapes. Gardens by the Bay is a remarkable feat of urban planning and sustainable design. It offers a tranquil escape from the bustling city, making it a popular destination for both locals and tourists. The combination of natural beauty, innovative technology, and environmental consciousness makes it a must-visit attraction in Singapore. Chinatown is one of the most culturally vibrant and historically significant neighborhoods in Singapore. It is a bustling district that reflects the city-state's multicultural heritage and is a testament to the Chinese community's historical presence and influence in Singapore. Chinatown has a rich history dating back to the early days of Singapore. It was originally settled by Chinese immigrants who came to Singapore in search of better opportunities. Over the years, it has evolved into a thriving enclave that showcases Chinese culture, traditions, and way of life. The architecture in Chinatown is a blend of old and new. You can find traditional Chinese shop houses alongside modern buildings. Many of the shop houses have been preserved and restored, retaining their colorful facades, intricate details, and characteristic five-foot ways. Chinatown is a popular shopping destination. Visitors can explore a wide range of shops and market stalls selling everything from traditional Chinese herbs and medicines to souvenirs, clothing, jewelry, and electronics. One of the key shopping areas is Chinatown Street Market along Pagoda Street, which is famous for its trinkets and knickknacks. Chinatown is home to several Chinese temples and places of worship including the famous Sri Maryam Man Temple, Singapore's oldest Hindu temple. The Buddha Tooth Relic Temple and Museum is another significant religious site in the area, housing a sacred relic believed to be a tooth of the Buddha. Chinatown is a vibrant neighborhood that offers a blend of history, culture, shopping, and culinary delights. It's a popular destination for both tourists and locals, making it a must-visit for anyone interested in experiencing the rich Chinese heritage of Singapore.
On the final day of my trip, I came back to Changi Airport to board my flight back home. I checked out the Blossom Lounge, located at Terminal 4. This lounge is designed with comfort in mind for travelers to relax and unwind before flights. They have a comprehensive range of facilities and services including modern shower facilities for travelers to freshen up, therapeutic massages in addition to a delectable range of food and beverages. The lounge itself is clean and tidy, providing a comfortable and pleasant space to relax in. Whether you need a quiet spot to rest or a place to get some work done, they've got you covered. In a nutshell, Blossom Lounge is a top choice when you're at Terminal 4.